And we have to give you a, a taste of what's the latest in what's happening with the LGBT question. And um, um, a civil society, a leading civil society actor, uh, Dr. H. C. Prempe, the lawyer, you know, trained in America, and uh, one of the finest legal brains that you can find, who is also leading the Center for Democratic Development, uh, CDD, a civil society organization, a respected civil society organization, has waded into the conversation about the, um, about the LGBT uh, situation. We will take some of the... We have, we have recaptured Dr. Kwesi Prempe's presentation on social media into five slides. We will share with you the five slides uh, tonight at the beginning uh, introduction of our program. And um, this is the first one, and it's as follows. Uh, this is Chrissy Prempress photograph you see over there. In your, on your screen, you see me on your, is it your right? And you see him on the left. So let's go through it. He's a professor of law and executive director of the Ghana Center for Democratic Development, CDD. H. Chrissy Prempress has lashed out at state authorities, describing their actions as populist for closing down an LGBT office in Accra, Ghana. The police yesterday raided and closed down the office of an LGBT rights group after politicians and religious uh, leaders called for its closure. Okay, let's move on. He says, however, in a reaction on Facebook, which has been widely criticized, in a reaction on, face on Facebook, which has been widely criticized and met with strong opposition, the law professor said he was surprised by the actions of the state. Unquote, populism is when you would rebrand and keep open witches' camps that cast away and hold poor women hostage in violation of their human and constitutional rights, yet rush to shut down an LGBT office that is victimizing no one and breaking no law, said HQC Prempe. Now, let's, let's, get, let's, get, let's keep this one there. Uh, so, listen to what he says. He says, Unquote. That is from the one, two, three, four, a fifth line. It says, Populism is when you would rebrand and keep open witches' camps that cast away and hold poor women hostage in violation of their human and constitutional rights, yet rush to shut down an LGBT office that is victimizing no one and breaking no law. That's what HQC Prempe is reported to have said. Okay, uh, let's move on. There's, there's another one. According to him, since, and, and quotation here, according to him is by the writer, on quotes, the quotation begins, since your lawyers, including human rights lawyers, seem afraid to tell you the truth, let me make this simple. There is no law, and there can be no law, saying a person cannot be a homosexual. Let's, let's take that again. Let's take that again. According to him, since your lawyers, I believe he's referring to Ghanaian lawyers, since your lawyers, including human rights lawyers, seem afraid to tell you the truth, let me make this simple. There is no law, and there can be no law, saying a person cannot be a homosexual. He continued. He said, now nah, let's, let's get back. Uh, let's get back to he said. He said, any such law would only be criminalizing one's person as opposed to one's conduct or act. Very interesting. This Christy Prempe says that if you legislate or promulgate a law that is criminalizing homosexuality, what you will be doing will be criminalizing one's person as opposed to criminalizing one's conduct or act. He explains. Let's move on. Let's move on and see. He says, laws criminalize conduct, into brackets, usually done with a certain intention. Laws, he says, do not criminalize one's personhood or status. Full stop. It goes on. Our constitution, like most others, does not permit the criminalization of a person. If you want to live in a society where you can criminalize a person as opposed to 
a specific action, you should, he says, probably move to live in ISIS territory. Uh, let's, let's take this again. It says, laws criminalize conduct, into brackets, usually done with a certain intention. That is to say, laws criminalize what I will do. It doesn't criminalize my person as a man, a woman, a child, an albino, a this, a that, a, a, a disabled, a that. Laws don't criminalize that. That's what, that's what he's trying to say. Laws don't criminalize that. Laws criminalize the conduct. Now, that conduct can be exhibited or expressed or actualized by any person. It can be actualized by a man, a woman, an albino, this, a that. Those, those conducts that are prohibited by law, by the Criminal Offenses Act, criminalize things that people done. I'm trying to clarify what HQC Prempe is, is saying. We, we by no means agree with him or, 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 or that, in any kind of thing like that. We don't agree with him. But the laws criminalize, he's saying that the laws criminalize what uh, people do. That's what the law is criminalizing. It doesn't criminalize their person. So let's read it again, as you can see on the screen. Laws criminalize conduct, usually done with a certain intention. Laws do not criminalize one's personhood or status. Our Constitution, like most others, does not permit the criminalization of a person. If you want to live in a society where you can criminalize a person, as opposed to a specific action, you should probably move to live in ISIS territory. So he's saying that you can't live and criticize, criminalize a, a, a person. You can't. You must criminalize the person's conduct. That's, that's what H. Christie Premper is saying. Uh, and uh, Maybe we'll come back to it again. Uh, Professor Kwesi Prempe went further to say that the Jewish state of Israel does not even criminalize being a homosexual. A homosexual is an act. A homosexual is not an act. It is a person, a human person. Get it, he said. Again, let's read it. H. Kwesi Prempe went further to say that the Jewish state of Israel does not even criminalize being a homosexual. A homosexual is not an act. It is a person, a human person. Let me just try and summarize uh, what Kwesi Prempe is saying then we, so that for the purposes of what we put on social media. So uh, Dr. Kwesi Prempe is saying is that the laws in Ghana currently do not criminalize homosexuality. We will not be able to criminalize homosexuality because homosexuality is a state of a person. It's not something a person does. When you want to proscribe or prohibit uh, actions and then they become offenses in the statute, what you are prohibiting is something people do. It's not something that people are or something that someone is. So someone is a, a disabled, you can't criminalize that. Someone is blind, you can't criminalize that. Someone is an albino, you can't criminalize that. His understanding of homosexuality is that it is like that. So you cannot criminalize homosexuality. You can criminalize an act that somebody does, but you can't criminalize homosexuality. Okay, so that's the general point that he makes. And then he ends with this final paragraph one. Uh, let's put it up again. He says, um, uh, he went further to state that the Jewish state of Israel does not criminalize homosexuality. A homosexual is an act, is not a, is, a homosexual is not an act. It is a person, a human person. Get it? Okay, now let's get the analysis here. So, because he, he took, he took, now why did he talk about the Jewish thing? He did because um, we have been saying, and when I say we, I mean those of us who believe that the, the Christian philosophy, um, which oozes out of the Bible, prohibits homosexuality and prohibits LG behavior persona and LG behavior. Uh, LGBT persona and LGBT behavior. Those of us who subscribe to the Christian Bible believe that the Christian Bible prohibits it. And we say that because we see it in Exodus, uh, we see it in the Leviticus, and we see it in Genesis, the books of the Bible, one of the, the first five books of the Bible. Now, uh, Dr. Premper is talking about the Jews. That those of you who talk about the Bible, even the Jews themselves, they have not criminalized it. But who are the Jews? Who are the Jews? So let's take our first scripture, the one we originally put out, and the one that somebody sent to us uh, as the person was watching. So let's look at Revelation chapter 3, verse 9. It's going to come on your screen a little bit. Uh, here it says again, Revelation chapter 3, verse 9. It says, uh, so let's start from 8 if you like. I know your works. See, I have set before you an open door, and no one can shut it. For you have a little strength, for you have a little strength, have kept my word and have not denied my name. In the 9, it says, Indeed, I will make those of the synagogue of Satan who say they are Jews and are not, but lie indeed. 
I will make them come and worship before your feet and to know that I have loved you. Indeed, I will make those of the synagogue of Satan who say they are Jews and are not, but lie indeed. I will make them come and worship before your feet and to know that I have loved you. Okay, now let's look at the new one that somebody sent. Revelation 2.9. 2, 9. That's going to come up also shortly on your screen. I know your afflictions and your poverty, yet you are rich. I know about the slander of those who say they are Jews and are not, but are a synagogue of Satan. It says, I know your afflictions and your poverty, yet you are rich. So who is, who is, the, who is, who is John the revealer talking about? Who, who is John talking about? He says, I know your afflictions and your poverty, yet you are rich. Who in this world, which people in this world are afflicted and are poor, yet they are rich? Tell me. Do you know? Tell me. Who is afflicted, whether an individual or a group of people, afflicted and poor, yet rich? It sounds like a paradox. It sounds like an irony. Paradox, irony, continent, people, subcontinent, decide. Okay. I know your afflictions and your poverty, yet you are rich. I also know about the slander of those who say they are Jews and are not, but are a synagogue of Satan. So, our introduction of this scripture is just to say that uh, when Dr. Prember talks about the Jews, we have to properly conceptualize it and understand those who are Jews because uh, John the Revealer in Revelations uh, wrote about the Jews in Revelations 2.9 and Revelations 3.9. Uh, he wrote about the Jews and he wrote about people who are impersonating, people who are saying that they are Jews and are not and they are synagogue of Satan. They will let them come and worship at our feet, etc., etc. And he knows he is referring to a certain people who are afflicted and are poor and yet are rich and also the slander, that's what the Bible calls it, the slander of those who say they are Jews. Okay.